Hi Taurus, welcome to your first week of December, general love reading. Remember, it might not resonate with everybody, but I'm going to try and tap into two storylines. Um, if you're single and if you're connected, waiting for somebody or if you're with somebody, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's see what comes up. And sometimes other things come up as well, too. Welcome to Frankie's Tarot. I always forget to say that, but welcome. Can you hear the storm behind me? Taurus spirit, the scribe. All right, some of you manifesting, writing down. I always think of my manifesting, scripting, the scribe. Some of you a writer. Some of you need to write down your knowledge, Taurus. Some of you are very, very knowledgeable, very wise, been through a lot, and it's time to um, go within, share your perspective is what I'm getting from that card. Share your perspective. Share your knowledge because you have a lot of knowledge that could help a lot of people. I'm also here and just really, really write down your thoughts. Really write down your dreams and write down your manifestations. Be 100% clear some of you may be having a lot of thoughts going through your mind and you don't want to lose those because what you're thinking about right now is very important. These messages are coming to you for a reason. These thoughts are coming to you for a reason. Write them down if you're a writer. Record them if you're a recorder. But I do just feel like you have a lot of knowledge in there that needs to be heard, read, seen, thoughts there's that thought card you have a lot of thoughts thoughts manifest the power of words words are magic some of you are studying a lot reading a lot dabbling in the mystics it's time for you to use that knowledge wisely you're just studying away I'm studying away and I have your person here Capricorn energy showing up as the four of Pentacles being stingy with their time acting like they they don't have the time not paying attention holding back, maybe seeming uninterested, not putting in any effort. Maybe they have other things going on in their world. For you singles, this person might just have a closed off heart and they're not putting forth any effort just yet. We'll try and figure out why. But they're just, they're not putting forth the effort if you have somebody on your mind. If you don't know this person yet, they're not ready to invest in a relationship just yet. But this is somebody that would match your your energy. <clears throat> For those of you connected, I see you manifesting your person to show you effort. To put forth more effort. Spirit saying, use the power of your thought, of your mind. You know how to do this. manifest they are holding on tightly I want one more I have the ace of Pentacles a new beginning so for many of you for many of you communication good news but I feel like clarity, you're receiving messages and clarity about a situation. And the Ace of Pentacles is, is talking about, you know, investing. Investing, it's, it's, it's communication, it's messages. But it's also starting something. Getting something off the ground. 
and you're being guided here to put your thoughts down, invest in something. Something could be work, it could be work related, it could be just what you're doing so hard to manifest. You know, somebody to put effort into you. But during this process, you're learning so much and you're bringing in this new beginning. This path is going to open up for you. For a lot of you, you're bringing in this communication from somebody who's not showing up for you. Somebody who's showing like they're not putting forth any effort just yet. But I see communication, I see a new beginning. For my singles, I see a new beginning. Somebody's going to invest. Somebody's going to communicate with you. So let's dive in and see what we get. But I do see that a lot of you have been putting a lot of time into, um, again, I can't help see, seeing somebody who's, who's kind of closed off, not putting the effort towards you. And I don't know why just yet. More focused on their own life, their own money. Kind of a lack mentality too. The tower moment. The ten of wands. The hanged man. Oh, something's going to happen to this person that's going to shift their world around. Something major is gonna happen to your person. They're gonna, they're just gonna lose everything. They're gonna lose something. They're gonna lose their mind. They're gonna hold. They're holding on too tightly. They're being very greedy about something. They're not. They're being very stubborn. They're holding back. Okay. There's about to be a tower moment that comes into their world. The Ten of Wands. They have too much going on. Too much pressure. That's going to bring them into that Pisces energy. The Hanged Man. Look at them. They're laying down on their bed there. Like what the fuck just hit me? change transition it's time for me to see things through a different perspective this person may be just very greedy and, and 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 focusing only on money on material things 3d world you know they just they can't let go they're 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 not putting forth this, the energy you want so shit's about to happen shit's about to get real and help it's going to change them could be a pisces could be an aries temperance ultimately bringing balance to this relationship so if this is somebody you're connecting to or they're just not giving you the time of day, not helping, not putting forth, not putting forth the work, not helping. Could be somebody you're connecting with already in a family. Somebody you've been there, done it with before. Oh, shit's about to change and it's about to bring them into balance. It's about to be a huge epiphany for them. And a huge aha moment. For singles, this person that either you want or that you haven't met yet, something big's going on in their life that's going to change their view of even relationships in general. It's going to bring their life, it's going to be hard for them at first, but it's going to bring their life into harmony. This tower moment to temperance, tower to temperance. Something unexpected is going to just push them. They have too much going on. For some of you, maybe that could have been you. Had so much going on that there's been some sort of change, but there's a temperance moment coming in. Sagittarius, could be a Sag coming in for you, Pisces coming in for you, an Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. But expect something big over here that's going to change their mindset from that four of pentacles holding on too tightly universe is saying you're holding on way too tightly your person's holding on way too tightly i need to clear away that bullshit so that you can see the real path the ace of pentacles so i'm gonna go on this tangent for a second for those of you because i was picking up on this who really know how to manifest who really are manifesting their sp there you're you're sitting there you're trying to call in somebody and they're not putting forth the effort and you don't believe in the manifestation process this is sort of showing you behind the scenes how universe works you can't control how the universe works things out the path to get from a to b keep focusing on your thoughts that new beginning the end game focus on the end game your person's going through some sort of huge shift that's going to put them in alignment with you for those of you who are single, trying to manifest your perfect SP and your person and your perfect soulmate, the one you think is the one for you, boom, this is what's happening. Something's bringing them into alignment with you. Coming back around, coming in. There has to be, the universe has to make things work for you. They have to make the shifts. You, you put the order out there, they make the shifts. I mean, the universe makes the shifts for you. Stay focused on your thoughts and you're doing it. Write them down. Stay focused. Your new beginning, your communication's coming in. Your person's being shifted. 
the timelines being shifted, being guided. Harmony, peace. I'm also seeing patience. Have patience. All right, look at this. Reconciliation, three swords in reverse. But it's also coming together. So for both, singles and, and connected, coming together. And that's what I have for you. The Eight of Wands. Expect a lot of communication. A lot of fast movement. Once this happens, expect a lot of communication, a lot of things moving, just things accelerating. So you may have been waiting for a while, need some patience right now, saggy energy, and then all of a sudden, boom, shit's just gonna start moving for you. That could be with work too, I wanna say. Keep manifesting, because some of you, I feel like there's a lot of money, a lot of um, a foundation type of energy here, like you're manifesting your future, you're manifesting some knowledge for the world, like for something you're doing. And I feel like um, that gateway is about to open, that prosperity lies ahead, the Ace of Pentacles, and then all of a sudden, you know, find in balance, find in temperance, find in harmony. Many of you, you know, just putting a lot of weight on your shoulders, right? But then all of a sudden, I just see balance, I see temperance, I see things moving forward and you going down the right path, okay? And it's just gonna move, you're gonna see all your manifestations coming in. You're gonna feel that flow, that energy, like you're in the flow, all right? Taurus, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a blessed week. Please come back and leave in the comments. Let me know if this resonates and take care.